Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. Create a lot of content for MSPs. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your own custom branding for Office 365 email encryption. This is a finished product of what we're about to go through here. You can actually customize a majority of the things within this message unique to your organization or however you want the messaging to be here. The biggest thing we're going to focus on is this logo though in today's video. So in Microsoft's documentation, they reference that this feature only comes with advanced message encryption, which is either an add-on to some plans or available with the E5 plans here. But I've set it up here in a Microsoft 365 Business Premium Tenant, and it worked just fine. So I would say while this does document that, you could still probably go ahead and do this with these, these settings that I'm about to show you here. So like I was mentioning, within the OEM template, you can define what branding and messaging you have at each one of these sections. They have the PowerShell commandlets here that you would need in order to do this. So if we pop into PowerShell here first, you'll want to connect to Exchange Online. And this is the new B2, oops, B2 commandlets here, which do allow for multi-factor authentication. And it's just grabbing all the Exchange Online commands that we'll need here. So what I'd like to do first is just get the OEM configuration here. It'll give you your template name and any other settings that you've set up. And it shows my image URL here put them in blob storage, but um, at first you'll see nothing. It'll just be listed as nothing here, but this is the big thing that we need. You can create multiple different templates and have them here, but I, I figure it's fairly easy just to modify the default one. So with the image URL, um, they have the whole path that you can copy here, but this is pretty, pretty straightforward. You just set the image in a default location that you're going to use for a path here. You'll see temp file is great. Um, and just add your logo here. The key thing is it has to be under 40 kilobytes. So you'll get an error message that says if, if it's over that, it'll, it'll tell you can't put it on there. But the identity here in quotations is what you want to use this for. So you just say OEM configuration, and then you put in your logo there. It'll ask you to consent, and then it'll finish up there. So I'll just grab this name right here, and I'll come into this line item. Just paste it in there, and then I'll go back and change this path from Contoso to my actual path and then rerun and this is again here where you get that error if it is above 40 kilobytes in size but otherwise you're gonna get this message which says hey are you sure and then it's telling me I nothing modified because it's the same image that I already had on there. So that's that's some of the major ones and you'll be able to test that out right away. But I just, before we do that, just wanted to show you can also customize um, any of these other messaging here as well too. So the other one that we could do here is this read button text or the message below it. So this is something where you could put your own custom rating around things being confidential or uh, something like that. So if we do that, it's going to be um, this one here that says read message below, and then the email text is the parameter that we're, we're looking for. So if we tab up and we erase all of this here, we just start typing email, we tab over for auto completion. Uh, you can say whatever you want here. So uh, this email contains Whatever you want there. Um, obviously, it's custom to the organization, but put that in, hit enter, 
and it's gonna say, are you sure again? You wanna make this change? We're consenting there and saying yes. So now if we go back and we test this out, message, encrypt it up here. You could have also created that rule. Um, the other thing we wanna do here is the, And we'll just say new, new encryption test, spell encryption. We'll send that. It only takes about a minute to go through. We'll wait for that up top here though. So you see this is the previous message and this is what it read before now if we come in and we look at this new one this is our new message that we just added down there so you see you can get really custom with all the different settings here and you can really customize this how you see fit um, so you can i would highly advise just kind of going through there and seeing anything else you would want to do change the hex color up top here you can change the introduction text so you can really be as, as custom as you want here. That's everything I wanted to show you guys. If you do have any questions or comments on this, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, please like or subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.